we just relax and turn on the radio? Would you like M or F? Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. devil's advocate here a little bit and i'm gonna pretend like journalists don't know anything so it's a normal day right journalists really aren't that well versed when it comes to geeky fandoms or uh nerdy characters i don't know superman dc comics marvel they know surface level but really don't know much more so we're gonna go with the notion that maybe maybe they don't know this fandom now we're going to talk about Black Superman. And I want DC to truly listen when it comes to this. Uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier did a good job of reiterating. This is not Black Captain America. This is Captain America. But every single headline you see is this is Black Superman, Black Superman, Black Superman. But why? Why are we doing this? And that needs to be fleshed out in the story. Now, there is a lot of really good... And I'm telling you right now, this is actually really good news. For a couple reasons. And I think a lot of people have some things misconstrued along with the author in this article. Now, first off, let's talk a little bit about who Superman is. We all know Clark Kent. But there is another super... There's two other Supermans, right? And and trying to be less reactionary, I can look at this from a different stance and make you realize that there is also a Superman, President Superman, based off of Obama and Muhammad Ali, that is also... Here's the kicker nobody's realized. His name is also Kal-El. His name is also Kalel. Nowhere in this original article did they say that this was going to be Clark Kent in this reboot. Or um, the other part of the really good news is that it is um, completely a like Robert Pattinson's Batman. It is on a different Earth that is completely separate from anything continuity wise. Meaning... That leads us to our third really good news coming from this. That means that Henry Cavill could still be Superman. So happy birthday, Henry Cavill. You're still Superman as of right now. Now, whether or not that changes in the future, I don't know. But what I want to talk about is Calvin Ellis. Calvin Ellis is from Krypton. Calvin Ellis. His name is Kal-El. Calvin Ellis is the president. He grew up with the Ellis family in a different way, but also decided to use his powers for good. He also decided to use his powers in a more political manner. Doesn't that just scream ta Coates all over it? Honestly, it does. Another good news of this. We are actually not having uh, the director be bad the guy from Bad Robots, right? And I know a lot of people don't like J.J. Abrams. I know... A lot of people were not looking at that and saying, oh, this is something I'm looking forward to. No, they were going, oh, no, it's J.J. Abrams. (laughs) And he's not going to be the director. Fourth good news of the day. All right. So let's talk about this article. Let's talk about who Calvin Ellis is. Or again, I'm going to reiterate this just one more time. Who also goes by Kal-El. That's very important to what I am talking about here today. Now, Let's, this is the article that came out that got everybody uh, panties in a wad. It really did. And, and I understand because if you're going to take Clark Kent, make a, a copy of him and put him on Earth 2 or whatever Earth you're going to use him on and, and just simply make give him the exact same comic accurate story as what we would see from Clark Kent is really silly. And honestly, it's what we talked about yesterday in my stream, that's forced diversity. That's lazy. But nowhere in this article does it say that it is Clark Kent. And we're going to pretend like, well, most people don't know that Calvin Ellis's real name is kal uh, And I've even watched a couple videos. You know, they had no idea what they 
that Kal-El is also Kal-El, is also Clark Kent, is also <laughs> Calvin Ellis. Oh boy, that was just a terrible sentence. But let's take a look at this article. Let's dissect a couple little bits. And let's calm the fuck down as a society. <laughs> it's definitely a compliment. This is what we heard from Michael B. Jordan. He said it's definitely a compliment, but I'm watching this one on the side. Um, that sounds a lot to me like I don't want anything to do with this project. That that sounds like exactly. And I was hoping if this was going to go forward, we were going to see Michael B. Jordan as Calvin Ellis. Now... I really think that they could take a underutilized uh, black actor and bring him into the main spotlight. I think personally, I would love to see Jesse Williams, who was in Detroit Become Human. He's fantastic. He's amazing. He's perfect for this role. He has bright blue eyes and he's great. He would be perfect as Calvin Ellis. But that's just my personal um, uh, dream casting, right? So... As this goes on, we hear Abrams saying that they are looking for a black director and they um, aren't going to use him because they felt it would be tone deaf. I, I disagree, but we don't know as of right now who will be directing. There's a lot of names up in the air um, as far as who could, like Ryan Coogler, but he's probably busy with Black Panther 2. Of course, they're going to want him. He made Marvel a lot of money, but... What I want to talk about is a really important part in this. Now, it does say Coates isn't expected to have this done until mid-December, so it's unlikely that we will know much more until then, but this is really important here, right? This Superman appears to be moving on to track and won't be part of the universe. It's not part of what Flashpoint is rebuting. It is simply like Joker, a one and done. Maybe they'll go on further, but as of right now, it, 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 there's no interaction between the other movies. Sources tell The Hollywood Reporter that Coates is crafting. Here's where I want to talk about dumb, dumb journalists. Is this word right here, and that's what's making everybody upset, right? That's what's making everyone mad, is the Kalel word. Well, the only difference between Kalel and Kalel is this little dash mark right here. Do you honestly think that a journalist from The Hollywood Reporter, and not a great one at that, I believe this is the same journalist that wrote a massive hit piece on Johnny Depp. Do you think they would do their due diligence and actually look into whether or not it was Kalel or Kalel? <laughs> I, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. They are not educated in this. This isn't what they do all the time. They write all sorts of articles. So that makes no difference to them. Now, it does say in the vein of the original Superman comics and will have a protagonist hail from Krypton and come to Earth. Now, of course, that could be something like Zod when it comes to Clark Kent, but it also could be Lex Luthor that was a huge villain for Justice Lee or Justice Incarnate for Calvin Ellis. He has his own Lux Luther, just like just like Clark Kent does. While the story is currently being crafted and there are many details that could change, one option under consideration for the film is to be a 20th century period piece. Now, I, I don't understand why that would be part of it, but I do think that we have to, with this one, wait and see how they're doing it. I have no issue with seeing Valzad or Calvin Ellis come to light when it's an offshoot and we still get Henry Cavill. I think Henry Cavill deserves his chance to actually have his great Superman story told. And I think he still wants that chance, but I don't know if he'll get it. I don't know if they're saying, okay, it's Kal-El. Guess what? We're not trying to mess with you. We really are race bending that character. And if that's the truth, then I'm highly disappointed in a studio that doesn't understand the meaning of tone deaf. But I think it was done because when somebody sees that, when somebody sees Kal-El, they're going to initially assume Clark Kent. I can only assume that it's a typo and that it's something silly and we're going to see Calvin Ellis. And if 
they could do it right, it could be a very good movie. Now, I could be completely wrong. I could be too optimistic. I could be a lot of those things. But I'm hoping to find out more. I'm hoping we know more and we can set this to bed because there's a lot of people just really upset about having a black Clark Kent. And I get that. Clark Kent is not a black man. He is a white farmer from Kansas. Let that story be told. It's been told for 80 years. We also have Calvin Ellis, who is well over his 10-year mark of stories. And he's also another huge reason why I think it is probably Calvin having his own story. We just got a secret files with him in Infinite Frontier. He's a huge piece of the Justice Incarnate going forward, and he's going to have his own story be told more over in the comics and be fleshed out. Why would you bring him back randomly? We haven't seen a lot of him since Multiversity. Well, because there's a movie being made about him. It's that easy. Now, of course, I could be wrong, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.